Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome back to channel. Today what we got is a company reached out to us, a Bacteria Power, and wanted me to kind of show their little uh, 20 amp charge controller. So naturally I said, yeah, anything to do with solar, I'm gonna say yes. So anyway, what it is, it's a, it's a 20 amp charge controller. Then you got your solar in, and then out to your batteries, pretty much. That's it, it's pretty simple to work so it comes with it comes with the charge controller comes with the user's, user's manual a little quick start guide it tells you everything that you didn't know basically you can hook it up right off this little quick start guide here and it comes with a couple extra plugs you know for you to splice into and hook to whatever you want to hook it into and then like an adapter that basically reverses the polarity from plus to minus if you need to switch it around and it's going to be kind of a a two-part video here because not only did they send me this to try and uh, I've read reviews on it and stuff like that and this thing's supposed to be pretty awesome it's 20 amps here I got me some uh, 30 feet of uh, 12 gauge wire that I'm going to use okay and the second part of this video is signature solar sent me out a couple grape solar 100 watt solar panels all right these things basically a 12 volt 12 volt panel 100 watts but i think they're rated at like 18 volts technically but i mean it, it'll be it'll work what i'm going to do is i've got two of these uh, i'm going to do another video on another one with a little, another little project we're doing but this one right here i'm going to use for this i'm going to build me basically a battery charging station up here at the barn and i'm going to I want my own power supply up here basically um, eventually I'll get like a little 12 volt mm -hmm. inverter maybe a 1500 2000 watt inverter to hook up up here and then I have this panel this charge controller and maybe a small inverter that way we can run the water pump stuff up here that run a drop course from the house you know everything be kind of self-contained here at the barn options are limitless with it but uh, for right now my idea is I want to build me a little battery charging station or like the side by side uh, or the lawnmower the lawnmower battery is always dead the generator battery something to keep it charged topped off with in case we ever need it is uh i'm gonna put it on top of the barn with the other small panel that i put up for that fan the ventilation fan i'm gonna put it up there this panel with it on top i'm gonna run it in this charge controller and then i'm gonna build a platform basically just set batteries on and charge them or but i'm gonna leave enough of this lead right here and put the the battery clamp ends on it i'll show you those in a second to where i can run it out and basically hook it up to the lawnmower or anything like that you know something that way i don't have to take the battery out all the time i can just run the lawnmower up here and hook the hook the charger to it and it won't overcharge because i have that charge control on it so that's a good way to test out this charge controller they sent out and test out these solar panels they sent out perfect combination it, it, it all it's all should work together so uh let me get everything out and uh, i'll be right back and show you how i'm doing what i got here is I got a couple of these little standard switch boxes, you know, for AC electrical, like switches or plug-ins or whatever. Just 90 what a dollar a piece from like at Lowe's or Home Depot, where we're going to get them. Uh, I'm going to hook the solar panel. It's going to be run down and into an off and on switch, like I done over with the fans. I know it's not a breaker, but I don't care. It's just a little small panel. And most, if I'm not here, if I'm not using it, it ain't going to be hooked up anyway. So, anyway. The solar panel is going to run down into this. It's going to have the disconnect from the solar panel. That way I know I can basically unhook it. All right. But I'm going to put two of these boxes like this. And one, one, on this second box, what I'm going to do is because I like to know, you know, just in case something happens to this or something and it's not working, I want to know that there's solar coming, at least coming to it. So what I'm going to do is I ordered a bunch of these little lights like this. I don't know if you can tell much about that. You know, it's green light, red light. You can get them any color you want. I ordered them green. I think I have a couple red somewhere. But anyway, these are the uh, blank face plates that don't have no holes in them. And what I do is I take a half inch drill bit and I drill right through the center of it. And I just basically just push that right in there. And it locks in place and everything with a half inch drill bit. 
And uh, the solar panel from the switch, I'm going to have this wired up into the switch. That way when the switch is on, this green light will come on, showing that there's solar coming through this thing. And uh, I think this thing's rated at 15 amps, something like that. Maybe I'm not real sure on that, but it's rated pretty good big because I've used them a lot on solars and stuff. But uh, basically I'm going to have this, like this, just like that, below this box. So whenever I turn this switch on, this light should light up, showing that solar is going through it down to the charge controller. All right. So it's, it should turn out pretty cool. I mean, uh, I, I need a battery charging station. And, you know, the battery battery chargers, you know, that run off AC outlets, you know, you got to run a drop cord up here and everything like that. And this will be perfect because it won't overcharge. And here is the, the clamps I'm going to use. You got your hot in the ground, basically just clamping on your batteries, your lawnmower, whatever you want to do. So that is the plan. Even whenever I hook a, a small inverter up here, it may be like a thousand, two thousand watt inverter, something, you know, something kind of small, uh, whatever I can find, fifteen hundred watts, and then I can hook it directly to the battery, and this will keep that topped off while we use the inverter up here for power, for lights, tools, anything we need up here. That way, we got to run drop cords all over the barn. So that's the idea. That's the idea behind all this. So. Anyway, let me get everything set up, and uh, we'll be back, and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing over here, and we'll hook it up, and we'll we'll test it, see what happens. All right, guys, this right here is the Grape Solar. This is a 100-watt panel from Signature Solar. Man, these things are nice. One thing I noticed, unboxing them, this right here, the glass is not broke or anything like that. It's in really, it's perfect shape, except for right here on the side. It looks like it was uh, dented a little bit right here. Right there's a little small dent. But it didn't break the glass or anything like that, so I don't care. Anyway, it's still in perfect shape, other than that small little ding right there. Okay, and it has standard MC4 connectors on the back. Standard connectors. So, well, the first thing we need to do is mount this thing. We need to mount this thing first. So, let me get the, everything together and we'll, we'll show you how I'm mount. We'll cut it 32 inches. All right, guys, the way I'm going to mount this up there, it's going to be wide enough just to mount that too. There's already one up there from the, the long run. It extends out there far enough to use. So I need to put one at the bottom. And the way I'm going to attach this is the standard metal roofing screws with the rubber washers. I'm going to put into a fender washer like that, which fits, fits perfectly in here like that. And just run your washer just like that. That's why I'm going to mount that. And then I'm going to mount it to one of these two befores as it runs up there. Anyway, I'll get that mounted and then I'll be able to set the panel up there and I'll show you how I'm mounting the panels. All right, guys, you can see it's sitting right on top of that unistrut. I'll put my bolts in each end like that. And there and there, I need the corner ones. I haven't got them yet, but and I got this one up there. That's for the fan and the chicken bar. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. All right, guys, the way I'm fastening the solar panels down, the way I've done them all, is I got a two inch bolt, it's a quarter inch, quarter inch bolt, it's two inches long, and I got my fender washers. That'll go on there just like that. And these things right here are the things you use that unistrut. You know, you just put down and turn it, and it locks into the unistrut, and it's quarter inch thread. So basically, just like that. Then that holds, the, basically pinches the solar panel down. That's basically how I mounted every one of them. Now I'm just going to fasten these down. I'm going to leave a little bit of a loop in them where they're not rubbing the metal there. That'll be perfect. Alright guys, what I'm doing is making a small jumper for my MC4's connectors down to my switch. There's plenty of videos on installing MC4 connectors, so I'm not really going to go over that a whole lot. I'm going to mark this one. That way I know it's hot. Ok, 
Okay. I'm not gonna hook it up yet, but I can hook this one up, the negative. Okay, just like that. The positive will go here, but I'm not gonna hook that up yet. Cause I don't feel like getting electrocuted. Alrighty guys, right here's what I got so far. I went ahead and hooked the solar panels up to the switch, just the standard light switch, off and on, off and on. Okay, and then here's the light. Okay, if you'll watch, let me see if I can, well, I can't do it two-handed, but let me see here. See that light come on? See it go off? On, off. So when there's solar, whenever I turn the solar on, that light green light will come on. That'll let you know that I do have solar power coming at least there, you know, so. And then out the bottom, let me turn this off so I don't get electrocuted again. Out the bottom is my connector right there. You see it? Yeah. That's the connector that runs over to the charge controller. That's the end for the charge controller. So when I get this put in there, I'll have a little slack on it and I'll be able to pull that a little bit more. But uh, then I gotta fasten these down, of course, you know, make them look a little better out of the way tidy them up a little bit and everything be up here out of the way and then i'll show you my next steps howdy guys everything's mounted i got the wire passing up pretty good pretty decent i was hooked up to the switch this is a standard light switch of course yes i know and then i got my light so here's what happens so turn this on Does that light come on okay now that means we got juice coming out of right there so we'll turn that off lights off no juice out of here Alrighty guys, I just got this mount. I have not tried it yet. I plugged it up right here to the wire. Coming out of here. Into here, the input. Okay, switch is off, let's power it on. And it come on. Of course, it's not gonna read anything right now because there's no battery hooked to it. I was basically wanting to see if it'd power on without a battery and it does, so that's that's excellent. We hook some uh, lead up here and we'll get a battery hooked to it and see what it does. So that's. That's, that's exciting right there that it comes on without a battery, so that's, that's excellent. Okay, let's make sure it powers off. It powers off light and that. Cool. Right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these ends on it. Well, that's the plan anyway. Put that on there. <clears throat> All right, here's what we got. We put these ends on here, it's regular. And I screwed the little heat shrink things up so I put tape on it, of course. So, anyway, I'm gonna hook up this generator battery. This thing dead as a doorknob. And we'll see. Yeah, baby wants it running every time he comes up here, huh? Yeah, he wants to crank it every time. This thing actually will pull out a little bit like that. So, we'll hook it like that. That's hooked up. I left about a 10 or a 12 foot lead on this. That way we can, you know, run up lawnmower or anything over here. So. Right. Okay, it's on. And this is what he was talking about, the light being on. Yeah, there's a light. Okay. It'll take it a second to read. We may have to continue this in the morning or tomorrow because it's starting to get dark. And we really ain't got a charge coming in. Anyway, here's my little off grid battery charging station right here this thing will come in pretty cool uh we'll bring another battery up if we have to we'll we'll find a battery i don't know we'll take one out of the lawnmower or something i don't know okay tomorrow and hook it up we'll just see what this one does for right now all right guys i just put a screw in there just to roll it up on for now just keep it up out of the way and everything's here compact out of the way out of sight and i may I don't know if I'll do it or not because we can always set the battery on the ground. But I was thinking about building like a little tray to sit here to set the batteries on, you know, something like that. But anyway, we, we don't have enough. As, as you can tell, it's getting dark now. Well, it's starting to get dusky dark. And uh, we don't have enough juice coming in. So I'm going to come out tomorrow and we'll try it tomorrow and see what it does. So we'll make sure the fault goes away. Well, it's almost 9 o'clock. So. Yeah, it's going on 9 now. It gets dark around 9. But that's where we're at. And I think that's pretty cool. You know, it's got enough coming in to turn the light on. That's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Yeah. See, it ain't showing anything coming in right now. So, anyway, that's where we got it. We'll finish this up in the morning. All right, guys, right here's what we got. We are charging. I don't think that battery's going to take a charge because it's it's so bad. So Because we always just pull start it. We don't even mess with it. 
I do need to get that battery charged or get another one for it. All right, and this thing is waterproof, weatherproof, so it's it's under the it's under the eave here for probably a little over a foot. So I mean, it's not going to get wet. The sun's not going to beat down on it because it's here behind the post. It's in a perfect place. And then I just put the wires up here, kind of roll them around three or four times, just keep just in case somebody pulls on it or something like that. It won't just snatch it too. It'll it'll jerk that. But anyway, I've left about a ten or twelve foot lead on it with. The alligator type clips on it. I put tape on it. I screwed the heat shrink things up, so I just put red and black tape on it. So, and it's on there charging the battery right now. So I'm gonna let it go for a while and see what it does. It's, I mean, it should work out pretty good. It's gonna be a pretty awesome little device here. There's a couple different settings on here. So the gel battery, which is lead acid, sealed out acid or anything like that. Then you got your AGMs, and then you have LiPo 4 batteries like, like we have in the house right there. So, I mean, to do that, what you do is just press and hold this. Like that, now you can change your battery style. It's right there. But I'm gonna leave it down here. Right there, I'm gonna leave it right there. So that's the type of battery we're charging right now. So, but it's capable of charging any of those batteries. So if I bring battery up here, it needs charged. Other than what I have here, then I can just change that and charge them up. Right there's a little readout. So, sorry, sorry, it's sideways. 14.1 volt, volts, 0 0.2 amps going into the batteries right now. It seems to be working really good. It, does, it ain't got enough juice to go into it to get make it hot or anything, so I'm not worried about it. It's so just a 100 watt panel. All right, guys, I just want to throw an update on this video before we publish this video. And uh, we've had this thing up and running for the last what three, four days now. Yeah. And it's it's worked flawlessly. It, you know, you come out here, you kick the solar on, you hook your battery up, and it charges it. We don't have enough panels to push it to its max performance. You know, it's supposed to put out 20 amps, and uh, we don't have enough solar panels up hooked to this to do that. We've hooked it to, we hooked the generator battery. We had it hooked to that for like a day and a half, two days. It charged it just fine. Uh, I brought the uh, lawnmower battery up, and I hooked it to it, and it charged it really good. It, I mean, you know, in a day, day and a half, it was completely topped off. We also had the truck battery hooked to it just to test and everything, you know. So we took the battery up and brought it up and sat down, hooked it to it, and it, it flawlessly, this thing works. So... It's more like a, for, for a way that I have it wired up here, it's more for like a trickle charge, like a trickle charger, just something to keep, keep something topped off all the time, which, I mean, that's everything I needed up here. That's all I needed up here. So like a, whenever I get a small inverter, a thousand, fifteen hundred watt inverter, I'm going to bring it up here and build me like a little box of some sort here just to have power, so that way we can power the pump. For, you know the pump that we use that we run the drop cord from the house to the pump to turn it on to pump the water out over here So that way I can just run it from here everything can be run from here I can run the cord and hardwire it to where the pump's at But anyway guys, that's just an update we've had it running now for three or four days and this thing right here bacteria power power uh, I I do recommend this thing. It's it's pretty cool little unit. It's it's waterproof weather tight And it's here underneath this eave. So I mean it's not gonna get nothing on anyway, so Anyway, I like it. it. Yeah, it, it's worked. It's worked flawlessly for us. I mean, I really like it. And, so, and I'll leave some links down in the video description down below to where you can get one and check them out. And like I said, you, if you do the, the panels and stuff just right on it, you'll get 20 amps out of it. And it will. It'll lay a charge and stuff. But for right now, the way that I got it wired up, it works perfectly fine for us and what we need it for. But hey, if you guys haven't uh, hit that like and subscribe button, please do so. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. Thank you. I like you, subscribe. There you go. Good job.